All right, hey guys, Kim Spanier, Everything Under the Roof, and it's Fix It Friday. So, um, welcome to the throne room. <laughs> so, today we're going to be talking about removing hard water stains from toilets because it's gross. So, um, I'm talking about the stains that after you wash, they just stay. You know, where the water comes in, maybe it's the water line. Um, so, this is a bathroom in my house that we don't use very often. Um, and because the water just sits in the bowl, it gets really gross. I'm not going to lie. So, um, you'll see when I show you, it's just, it's all, um, just stained by all the water sitting in the bowl. <laughs> so let's get started. Okay. So here we go. First, I'm going to show you how disgusting it is. Oh yeah. Here we go. <laughs> So you can see the brown is from all of the um, iron in the water and all the different colors show you all the different minerals in your water. The pink is, um, I believe it's manganese or something. Anyway, um, so let's get you situated here. All right, so first we're just going to start with a basic wash. You know, this, I use white vinegar for freaking everything. <laughs> so white vinegar. Um, before I get too far, I'm actually going to put on my gloves because, man, who wants to put their hands in a toilet? This stuff is disgusting. Right. So here we go. Get my gloves on. Doctor, I'm ready. Okay. So I'm just going to get my little toilet brush here and I'm just going to give her a little scrub scrub. Okay. All right, so I'm not gonna get too crazy because we're gonna go in here with some serious cleaning after. So, put that back here. I'm gonna give her a flush. So after it's done flushing, um, you'll see, I'm gonna show you here, that we still have staining around the edge. See where the water comes in and the edge on the Kind of the water level, so disgusting. So, um, there you go. I'm just gonna set you there. So, what I first, what you gotta do to remove the stains is you gotta get rid of the water. And I wanna tell you first, while the water's filling, um, if you wanna stick with white vinegar, this will work, but it takes a lot longer. And me, I don't have that kind of time. But um, what you would do is you would get toilet paper. You would saturate it with white vinegar and um, you get rid of all the water and then you would just stick the saturated toilet paper to all the staining, right? And you'd probably do it at night, leave it overnight. In the morning you get up, you give it a little swish swish, flush, and you probably are gonna be good. Um, but like I said, I don't have that much time. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we need to get rid of the water. A couple of ways to get rid of it. Um, you probably have a, a shut-off valve for your toilet. You can turn that shut-off valve. You want to flush it once, which will empty the tank, right? And then you'll have to then flush it again to get the toilet to empty and not fill back up. So again, I'm just going to go for the quickest way, which is using a plunger. Um, so even if the toilet isn't clogged, if you plunge it, the water will go down, or at least most of it. So we're just going to give it a good old plunge, and down it goes. Give it a second. We're going to do one more time, get rid of almost all the water, and then we're just going to have to soak it the rest of it up. And down they go. Woo! All right. So, um, yeah, so most of the water, just a little bit down, way down deep here. But I just have an old rag and I'm going to bring, I'm just going to bring a plastic lined can here. I'm just going to stick it in and let it soak up all this water. Takes just a minute. And ta -da. okay, so we got most of it soaked up. Um, you can also, you know, listen, if you want to get crazy, you can get a Dixie cup, you can get a turkey baster and suck the rest of it out. Um, you know, I'm just trying to be quick about it here, but it takes 
almost all of it's out of there, so we're good. What I like to do um, to remove all of the staining is Barkeeper's Friend. Um, you can find this at Target, you can probably find it at the grocery store, at Walmart, um, or at a hardware store. It's safe for septic, which is um, important for um, those of you not on city sewer. Um, so that's, it's a good product. It's not very expensive. And um, you would probably look on one, kind of the bottom shelf. It's usually not in prime real estate. And all I do is I just give it a little shake in the toilet. And then for some kind of stuck on stains, I'm just going to put it right on my sponge. And um, we'll go from there. So, all right, I'll just give a little bit. It's just a, an old kitchen sponge which is kind of why I'm wearing gloves, because we're gonna scrub it by hand, baby. All right, so we're just gonna get in here good. Arr, little elbow grease. Listen, who needs to go to the gym? We're just gonna clean the toilet instead. <laughs> All right, so um, this stuff, this cleaner is wonderful. So if you have um, a cast iron um, sink or anything, I have a fire clay farm sink, so it's a white glazed sink. Um, this is wonderful because I get the same kind of staining in my kitchen sink. So, uh, all right. Give it a good scrub here. All around, under the bowl, down deep here. Now, um, there's certainly, you know, for real stubborn stains, you may have to leave it a little longer. You might want to give it a little time to set. You can make a little paste and slather it on. Um, I don't want to keep you here too long, but I do want to show you that it will work. So, um, I'm just going to scrub just a minute longer. Oh yeah, some elbow grease here. Okay. That's it. Good enough, I think. See a big difference. Okay. I think you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, good. Probably gonna dispose of the gloves, the sponge. Phew, okay. All right, down we go. Okay, all right. Not too bad for the couple seconds we've taken here to clean. All right, so you see, um, for the quick cleaning we did, it wasn't too bad. We have a little bit. I think if I let it sit a little longer, it would have come off a little more, but um, I think you get the point, right? So, anyway, this was Fix It Friday, and I'm Kim Spanner from Everything Under the Roof. If you have a tip or something that you are looking to have done around the house, please Leave it in the comment section below. I'd love to um, take your suggestion. And if you could subscribe, you'll get all of our videos or find us on Facebook at Everything Under the Roof. And um, till next time, we'll see you later. Thanks so much.